what's up? Yeah, um, my name is Tichi the Chikare, and you're just about to watch my play. Please enjoy as you watch. Thank you. Before you, yes, I wait your lunch. Then, if I finish peeling before you, I wait your own lunch. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, now. So I can count now. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, pium! I win you. You fast now. Now what do you win you? <laughs> what do you want here? Um beautiful girl. Not as beautiful as the angels, but more beautiful than ordinary girls. Good afternoon. Hmm. Where did you get that from? Auntie, I forged it myself. Oh. Really? Yes, Auntie. Okay, say it again. Okay. Um, beautiful girls, um, lower than the angels, but uh, higher than ordinary girls. Wow. Yes. That's good. I'm impressed. But that was not how you said it before. But it still sounds good. You know what? If you were educated, you'd have made a good point. Auntie, thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Um, Auntie, we brought your oranges. Yes. No. You didn't bring my oranges. You cannot bring my oranges. My oranges are here. Fresh and untouched by any man. At least not recently. Since I sent that pig head, my ex boyfriend parking. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. All right, drop the oranges. <coughs> now, I want you guys to make me laugh. <laughs> I want you to fight each other. Huh? Yeah. Fight yourselves. Make it look very real, or I'll send you parking. Yes, I'll send you back to the hunger on the street where I found you. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Donna, are you bored? Very, very bored. I had to tell my houseboys to fight while I work. At least I can find some excitement on a boring Saturday morning like this. Well, let me entertain you. Come to my dad's guest house. It's my call today. Hmm. There's we. What do you have in stock? I leave that to your imagination. Alright. No, don't drink water. Don't drink water. No, don't drink water. Don't drink water. Don't drink water. Don't drink water. I want to drink water. Oh, don't drink water. Come on, 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 come
to the best fun spots in the world. <laughs> Gumball in New Orleans and Vegas. Deep in the seas and Cyprus, Malta and Gozo. Sailed to St. Martin's on a boat cruise. Been at the nude beaches in Alto Orio, Jamaica and Benel Martin as well. Watch the sunset in Orlando. <laughs> Turned in Greece. Eating the best kebabs in Tunisia. Bathed in the river now. <laughs> stop. Stop, please. But it's true, Donna. You've done everything, baby. You've seen and done it all. So what's left but to be born? And as your best friend, and me not being of a humble background either, I have to crack my head and come up with ways to entertain ourselves, especially on a boring weekend like this one. Did somebody say money never sleeps? <sighs> you still have not hit the nail at the head this week. What do you have in store? Understand the art and chemistry of a woman's body. And like bees, they sting and sting deep. And that, my dear friend, you'll find out in a moment. So let's just enjoy the moment and talk about it tomorrow. Hey. Hey. Indulge us. Yes. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Why did you hit your knuckles on my car? I wanted to um, attract your attention. For what? Have we met before? No, ma. But I need help. I need a job. I'm a well-trained cook. I don't know if you can help me or if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that needs a cook. Listen. I just had me one of the best times of my week and I will not have you ruin it for me. I'm a professional trained cook, ma. Professional. I, I cook anything. I can cook Italian, Chinese, Mexican, Oriental. I can even make sushi. Please, ma. I need a job.
With all due respect, Ms. Johnson Williams, I, as your account officer, deem it fit to bring it to your notice that you've been making excess of withdrawals from your account, running into millions of naira. I just want to know, these withdrawals, are they geared towards an investment intended to generate more money? Since it is also my duty as a banker to advise you financially. Ms. Johnson Williams, you could at least make a response. Desiree, Desiree. Do you always have to address me in such humdrum formalities? Johnson Williams is my father's name, not my name. Um, I'm sorry, but you have to know. How I address you in this matter is not the issue here. So what is the issue here? What? That I'm withdrawing my money? Or that I'm spending my money? Or that I'm withdrawing and spending my money without letting you guys know? Lord have mercy. I have never heard of such a thing before. Are you listen? I've just had myself one of the best times of my life. And I will not have you. Spoil that phone for me, so get out. I'm sorry, uh, I'm just doing my job. Oh? Well, your job is in the office, not here. Out. Oh, Miss Johnson Williams. Have a good day. Desiree! D-E-S-I-R-E-E! -E. Are you such a blockhead? I mean, are you that dumb that you can't remember little things like my name? All you remember or think about is how much I've withdrawn or how much deposit I've made. That's how you guys start doing fraud. Before I know it, you start planning how to steal my money. Get out! Now! Have a good day.
I was wondering if you'd like to keep in touch. Maybe exchange phone numbers. I like the way you sing. And I love music like crazy. My friend and I. What's your name? Uh, Ransom. I'm Desri. Pleased to meet you. Same here. So, would you like to keep in touch? No, um... I have some friends and a fiance, okay? I, I just like to keep my life tight. You know, feel friends and acquaintance, it's okay. I just came over here to sing so I can have some extra cash so I can complete my university education. What are you saying? You don't want to get to know me? Mm, I'm cool with knowing you like the way we know each other already. And I'm also grateful for the drink. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the drink. But with the exchange of numbers, I'm sorry I can't. You know, like I said, I love to keep my life simple and uncomplicated. You know, the few friends you know, the better for you. Loser. Weak man. Sorry? Weak as man. I'm sorry if I offended you by me not exchanging numbers with you, but uh, please don't use such expression on me. Hell is on fire. Do you know who she is? Of course I know who she is. Who am I? Dust. When you die, you rot and turn to dust. That's it. Like you, me, and everyone else. Yeah. Please excuse me. Oh well, you, you, you cost it. Haven't you heard that artists are very crazy people? Unusual. Most guys would jump at an opportunity to give Chief William Johnson's daughter their number. And I wasn't even chasing him. I just wanted to get to know him and maybe invite him to play on my birthday. I want to know who that thing is and what gave him such guts. What is bothering you? 
I try. I try, okay? I try. I go out every day in search of a job. I even talk to strangers. The minute you mention a job, everybody keeps a straight face as if looking for a job is now a crime. I keep trying, I try. Look at me. You will get a job, okay? And something tells me it will be pretty soon. I try. So, this is where you live and you're doing all this shakara. I live in this place. This place doesn't live in me. What lives in me is greatness. Greatness beyond my present surroundings. Just give me a few years and you'll see it. Hmm. Smart. But if it's a compliment, it's much appreciated. So what is it? What's, what's your problem? A rich girl like me asking you to be her friend. And you don't want that. Those who will be my friends will be my friends. And those who will be my enemies will definitely be my enemies. I see. Pick it up. Go on. Pick it up. My address is number 50 Palmolive Crescent, Creek Town. I want you to be there tomorrow morning. I'd like you to sing for my friend and I over breakfast. Hmm. Now let me see if money does not move him. He will pick it. Listen. Don't show bones at me. I'm not a dog. But what if the bone is a fat bone? In fact, something tells me that this bone right here is the fattest bone you've ever seen in your life. Listen, my dear. It is how you don't have respect for the currency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's people like you that bring shame to this country. Who is she? My fiance. Her name is Egedewa. As you can see, she doesn't put on a lot of makeup to look as beautiful as you do. I will ignore that insult. Hey, fiancé. Your boy right here is being very difficult. He's rejecting money. Good money. Very good. <laughs> Make sure you spank his bum bum when we're gone, okay? Go on, pick it up. Pick it. I want him to be my boy, to be at my beck and call, to be my personal entertainer. I have money. I can pay you whatever you want. I choose the people to work for, and I won't work for you. Not with all the money you have in this world. You remember me? 
Do you recognize her? Yes. She's one of the people who wouldn't give me a job. <laughs> All right. I'll give you a job. As long as your boyfriend accepts to sing solely for my best friend. I'll pay you 100,000 Naira monthly just for you to cook my meals and serve them. We will not sell our labor to those who will take away our honor. My God, I have never seen so much money all at once in a long time. Let the money go. Money that is yours will never grow wings. It will stay here in your pocket. What are you thinking? I'm thinking of a way out. Good morning, Ma. Ma. Good morning, Ma. Like I'm some married woman with seven kids. Um, good morning, Auntie. My friend, you and I are obviously of the same age. So cut out this man, Auntie Pete. Who are you trying to make feel old? Excuse me. Good morning, Madam. Better. Show superiority. Especially if you're going to work for me. Auntie and Ma show age. Madam shows who big pass you, both for position and for money. I finished talking, talk your own. Ma'am, I spoke to my fiance and he has agreed to sing for your friend Miss Desiree to come and listen to at home. I don't know if that will be okay for her. Listen to him sing at home? At whose home? Start work immediately as my cook. I'm sure she'll accept your proposition and I'll talk to her. Get in the car. Ma? Madam? Um, I mean, ma, madam. May I ask where we are going? My house. That is where your duties are. Or don't you want to work again? I want to work now. Go to our room and rest. I leave the headache of the youth for the youths. Desiree, 
You look quite upset. What is it? Well, I know whatever it is, you can sort it out yourself. We are in the room. If you feel like talking to me about it, I am upstairs, okay? Yes, Dad. And what happened to welcome daddy? Welcome mommy? The way I was brought up. This room. The way I know I brought you up. <sighs> Darling, this is not time for that. We just came back, honey. Eh? You can scold her later. No. This is how you, you support her to be bad. Did you hear the kind of cock swear words coming out from her mouth? And you, Donna? You don't beat your elders. Um, <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, what? Good evening, goat or dog? You don't know good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. Honey, easy. Take it easy. Take it easy, honey. No. No, no, no. Don't honey me. I don't know what these guests are turning into. business if I decide to curse a brood over my personal pain. What has that got to do with her? Oh, she would rather I'm, I'll be fake and all nice. Oh, God bless you. May the angels guide you. I mean, what is that? You know what? You need a drink. Water, wine, juice. I'm not interested. Egede. Egede. Ma'am. Get a glass of wine. Listen, babes. You're an only child. Your mom is just being protective. Protecting me from what? From yourself. From self-destruction caused by cursing. <laughs> You're stupid. But seriously, my mom needs to lay off. You know, my dad is cool. I mean, he's a cool dude and all, but my mom, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I think She's seriously trying to get back at me for something I don't even know that I did. Excuse me, ma'am. But why? Is it for you or for your friend? For her. Excuse me, ma'am. Take a drink. Pour it. Fill up the glass. Yeah, I'm an addict. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I'm an addict? No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am, you won't pour the drink for me. No, no, I, I, I'm... Yes, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Which one is it? Make up your mind, suck it. You're stupid. In fact, all servants are stupid. Gossiping mouths and little brains. Sneaky little fellas. Always ready to divulge lies and secrets they know about you. Have you tried firing up here before? <laughs> Do that. And listen to her talk to your enemies about your secrets and things she knows about you. I hate servants. And that means I hate you too. Yeah, that's all, ma'am. Can I, can I go now? That is rude. Why do you want to go? She's still talking to you. I'm sorry, ma'am. She won't dare walk out on me. Gossip. They stand and serve you with a straight face and act like they don't care about the words that are coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I listen to them talk at night at the servants' quarters. You'll be shocked about what they know about you. Okay. Go now, ma'am. Not yet, slave. Look at me when I'm talking to you. What's your name, slave? I get it. What's that? What, what, where are you from? Are you an alien or are you from outer space? It's an evil name. Ma'am. Then what does it mean? My fiancé told you what it meant the day you came to our home. My name is Egedenwa. Perfect beauty. Ma'am. Your fiancé. You dare tell me your fiancé. 
that stupid slum dweller who has no respect for anybody. So, you're the one distracting him from doing what I want him to do, right? You're distracting him because he has to appear to be proud in front of you and not look like he's dancing to a woman's tunes. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. You don't understand what I'm talking about. She doesn't understand what I'm talking about. <coughs> Listen, you better go after her. Pour another glass of wine and go after her. Quick. Another glass of wine for you. Take it away, I don't want it. No, ma'am, please. It will calm your nerves. Madam Mrs. do you have a glass? I don't want any drink from you. The sight of you reminds me of what that boy is doing to me. And it makes me angry. And I don't want to calm my nerves. I grew up having everything I wanted. More like you know about that, because you grew up in absolute in a big style, maybe even worse. And now I want your boyfriend. I want him to serve me. I want him to lick my toes, obey my wish, and bow down at my feet. And because he has been strong at concerning it, I will do whatever it takes to get him to serve me. I'm determined to take him from you, and I will. Well, say something. Don't just stand there and pull up the act of a dumb servant. Give me a drink, man. Hardly anything happens in this compound that we don't know. We were watching through the window, and I told Ben that she's going to pour wine on you if you go close to her. Oh, she did. You knew she was going to pour wine on me? We know all our madam friends. That Desiree is a crazy woman. Especially when she began to hear that she wants your man. I knew you were in for trouble. What was all that for anyway? I don't know. Do you have a man? The kind of man she would want? Advise her on how to stay away from trouble. Walking in a place like this, under a hot-headed young lady, and some random friends here and there. My dear, you see here, eh? you must learn how to obey and say yes ma to everything they say or want. For example, if you pass her food and she said, take it away, just take it away. Don't argue. Mm -hmm. And she says, uh, if, he, if she says uh, uh, that she wants to roll in shit, give her shit to roll in, big one. <laughs> because it is her desire to roll in shit. Don't tell her that, uh, madam, it, it is bad to roll in shit. Oh. Shit, it is, uh, shit is not good to roll in. If you try that, eh? If, I say, if you try that, you will enter into very big trouble with her. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Yes. Hi, I'm Ben. We were wondering that <laughs> it is too early for you to enter into a bad book of our madame's best friend. Uh -huh. She's going to make this place unbearable for you 
if you continue to to be her enemy uh, so i will advise you should go and beg her just go to her and kneel down like this watch me just kneel down like this and say madam please forgive me fiam she will forgive you, she will forgive you. Sorry, oh? Sorry. Sorry. We are used to that. Don't cry too much, oh? Don't cry too much. <laughs> we are used, uh, used to that, my brother. She's a new intake. <laughs> Sorry, eh? Hey! Sorry, eh? Sorry, this one at the beginning. Sorry, don't cry too much, oh? Sorry, just wipe off your tears. Yes. What is it? Nothing, ma'am. I I just want to ask forgiveness from Madam here. Madam, I'm, I'm sorry. I ask of forgiveness. I'm very sorry that I upset you. The sight of you disgusts me. Because I can see through you, because this right here is fake loyalty. And you're doing it because you just want to keep your job. And then go back home and advise your boyfriend not to be my distraction, isn't it? Madam, Ransom is a man and will make his decisions. Please don't let that come between you and me and my duties to you as a guest of my employer. I certainly will respect everyone who comes home in search of my employer. Please allow me to perform my duties to you. She's a man. Did you say Ransom is a man with his own decisions? With all due respect, ma'am. Yes, I, I said so. <laughs> when you get home, tell him I slapped you. And that I'll continue to make your days in this house miserable unless he does as I say or as I want. There's only so much I can take. There's only so much I can take. Or is it the insult she pours on you and me? Oh my God. What's happening? Or is it the wine she poured in my eyes? The pain of alcohol in my eyes. I hit her with all the hatred she had built in me. All of it. I don't get it. Who hit you and who you hit back? Desiree. She wants you. Desiree? How? You don't work for Desiree. Where did you see her? I'm working for her best friend. Maybe now I've lost my job. Oh, to hell with the job. To hell with the job. Listen, never lose your pride to anyone. Wait, you said you hit her back, right? Good. I'm happy now. Because if you had not done that, I would have asked you to go back there and hit her even harder. Life is too short for you to start compromising nonsense with people. Love those who call you their friend and hate those who call you their enemy. It's a simple thing. At the end of the day, nobody gonna judge. Nobody gonna judge who ate more shit or who ate the lesser shit. I mean, there is no price to win who ate more or, or less shit. Those girls are talkatives. They're porcupines. They drink too much. They're rude. They're foul-mouthed. They're irritating. I hate them and I hate their money. No, 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 no. You don't have to hate their money. Hate the way they use their money. So what are you saying about me? What if in future that I have a lot of money? Are you going to hate me and my money? If you become rich after you've been poor, you will behave differently. You will understand what it means to be hungry. 
what it means not to have food on your table or clothes to wear. Well, that's if we don't forget. We just come with short memories. You know, sometimes you even forget that you were poor and you start to act stupid and arrogant. Is it true that rich people's cops smell the most when they die? Because they eat so much of everything. Meat, fish, egg, wine, chocolate, ice cream. Poor people's cops smell less when they die. Why? Because poor people have less flesh on their bones. They have less flesh to even rot. All they have is bone and anger. Bone and anger do not smell. They catch fire. That's why they're always so angry. Yeah. Yeah. Ransom? Yeah? Please hold me. It will ease the pain. You're my sunshine and rain, golden rain, shining sun. Yeah, you're my sunshine and rain, golden rain, shining sun, coming rain, rain, coming rain, oh, rain. Yeah. yeah. Run as far as I can, I cannot get away. From the memories that have given me, try as hard as I can, I cannot get over. Every, what, what's going on here? What have you brought police to my house? Officers, this is the animal that attacked me yesterday. Arrest her. Madam, you are under arrest. For what? For assault. Assault? She was the one who attacked my fiancé for Didn't she tell you? Listen, I have a witness. My employer, though. Arrest this woman because if you don't, I will file a case of assault against her. Because you have money. Because you have money. Let me tell you. It's not the first person who calls the police that wins the case. Okay? Madam, you have the right to remain silent. Or whatever you say now will be used against you in the court of the law. And for your information, don't try to prove stubborn. If you do, I will rough handle you. Give me your hand. Because you have money. Because you have money. 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 Why? Why? Come on! Why? 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 Because you have money? Yes. Because you have money? Yes. That's it? Yes. yes. Hello, who are you looking for? Told us we ran some the singers here. I'll sing for you. Just release my girl. Please. <laughs> we'll see about that. Come in. You never know the value of what you got till you get to 
How you sing? Is this how you sang the first time I saw you in the club and fell in love with your voice? This is not singing. There is no melody. There is no soul in your voice. If you were a man and the woman you love so dearly is in the police cell, detained at the instruction of another woman, the same woman who wants you to sing for her and make her happy. Would you have the sword in your voice? You know what? Go. Because you see, this thing you're doing right here, I don't want it. I don't have any need for it. This is not singing. This is misery. Misery? I'm thinking misery? Do you know what misery is? What do you know about misery and pain? What? You just live in a glass tower and ask for, for, for everything and anything that tickles your, your fancy, that's all. And now you politely ask me to walk out of your house? Listen, do you think you have to write to tell them to whom my beloved? You don't have to write. Let her go! Just let her go! Stop yelling in my house, okay? This is not the slums where you guys leave and shout and make noise. So you found a slum despicable, right? Then don't ask for a vote from the slum! All I'm saying is that... Just tell them to let my girl go. She has already spent a night in the police cell after retaliating when you slapped her. Just let her go. You don't have no right to, to limit her freedom. You don't. Hmm. A man who can stand up for his woman. It's sexy. You're making me like you even more. In fact, you're making me love you. Your eyes blazing hot in anger. Hmm. You know it's a thin line between love making and anger. The blood reacts the same way. It boils. The nerves quake. Mm. The veins throb with pumping blood. Come, come here. You know I pay able-bodied men like you to be my sex slaves in bed. Mm. Mm. What a job to be my sex slave in bed. And you get paid to. Mouth-watering, isn't it? Listen. She has done nothing to you. I want her home. And if I refuse to let her go? <laughs> Ransom. You're lucky and beginning to like you even more, Ransom. She's lucky too. Well, for now. <laughs>
Are you okay? My question is, why does God give his money to fools? His money? Yes, yeah, sweetheart. It's his money. He gives it to who he likes. Most times, he actually gives it to those who don't have the actual need for it. And those who use it wrongly. Look at me. I think from the beginning of semester to the end. From the beginning of vacation to the end. Yet, I can hardly pay my school fees. Ha. Please, let me not bother you with my talk, okay? Just go in there, take a shower and find something to eat. I actually cooked. You're having problems paying your fees. Sweetheart, when have I not? I mean, you know the part. They don't pay me anything meaningful. I just depend on the generosity of their customers, that's all. But the thing is, people seem to be broke these days. Very broke. I, I really want to help. But now I, I don't have a job. I need a job. I mean, I have to get a job because we need money. We need money so badly. Say, what I want to know is, uh, Donna, I mean, did she sack you? Did she tell you not to come to work? No. I just felt I shouldn't. I mean, having such problems with her best friend, who would want to retain me? Okay, you know what? You go to work tomorrow morning. Just report to work as usual, all right? Act as if nothing has happened. And if she sends me away? Well, then at least we've tried. Then we know that we've tried. As a matter of fact, you never had a problem with Donna. It's just really you had a problem with. So just, just go there tomorrow morning, right? Good. Good day, ma. When Donna told me you came back here to work, I didn't believe it. Strange. So you still want to work here after I locked you up? Hmm. You must be in desperate need for money. Or maybe you're planning evil. Maybe to poison me in this house one day. So, which one is it? Revenge or money? Money, ma'am. <laughs> I thought as much. But you know I can mess you up. I can influence Donna to fire you. Listen to me. You are a woman. I am a woman. By now you should have noticed that I have a rebellious and a stubborn spirit, just as you do. A spirit that never gives up or accepts defeat. So stop insulting me. Stop looking down on me, ma'am. Or trying to make me feel less about myself. Or trying to make me fear you. I will not fear you. I have something you want. Pay me, ma'am. And I will deliver it to you. Excuse me? You heard me, ma'am. You want my boyfriend's voice. Serenading you while you sleep. Singing to you first thing in the morning before you wake up. You come from a fabulously rich home. You want to live your life like a queen from the fairy tales. And for some inexplicable reasons, you will not rest until you have grand son in your employ as voice. Your personal voice. Your personal song pipe, ma'am. Pay me and I will make him work for you. He's my fiance. I have powers over him that you do not and will never have, despite your wealth, ma'am. What is wrong with paying for what you want? I mean, this girl wants to sell her boyfriend. Go ahead and buy him and then you can do whatever you want with him. And if you desire him along the line, you can seduce him. F him, snatch him if you want. It's, it's all part of the sale package. My, oh my. Girl, this is adventure. Wait, are you still thinking about agreeing to her terms? Are you kidding me? 
what you should be thinking about now is how much she is asking for. Not whether you agree to her terms or not. Come on, girl. Where is the adventurous in Desiree, my best friend forever? Where is the Desiree that made me have so much fun with the four boys she called the Blue Bee Collection? Come on, girl. Go and play this game. And then you can fill me in as the game progresses. Pay for your singer. Money never slips till it buys what it wants. How much? 500,000 naira. Hmm. Your boyfriend is quite affordable. Very good. I'm not selling my boyfriend to you. That money will enable me to convince him to sing for you. Of course, you'll still pay his singing fees. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. I like it. Take it or leave it, ma'am. Of course, I will take it. So, how do you want your money? Cash? Check? Then, how do I know you will deliver? In fact, what should I do to you if you. Do not deliver. Ask your friend to fire me. 500,000 naira is my five month salary. Now I wouldn't want to jeopardize a long term job over a five month deal, would I? Ma'am? <laughs> You'll get your cash before the end of work today. Sure. I'll be waiting. Still waiting for the surprise news. I mean, what is going on? Did you rob a bank? No. Well, this is two hundred thousand naira for your school fees, and this is another hundred thousand naira just in case you need anything. Minus all this. No, no, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. So you tell me where you got this money from. Okay, I got salary increase. Now, what that means is that she offered to pay me 200,000 naira every month instead of the regular 100,000 naira. And she gave me half of five months in bulk. Now, every other month, I still get paid 100,000 naira. What? You don't believe me? I find it hard to believe you. I mean, we, we were expecting a sack, not a salary increase. The reason is simple, darling. Conscience. Her conscience has been flogging her that she allowed the police to arrest me. I even slept in a police cell. And still, she offered to be a false witness against me if the case had come up in court. So, um, what, what did her friend say? Oh, <laughs> that one. She's been crying and begging me, telling me how much she adores your voice, how much she wants you to come and work for her, and how much she's willing to pay. Darling. I think you should work for her. I mean, they're just two rich, small kids. They're harmless. No, no, it's out of it. I'm not going to work for them. I'm not going to work for her. Ransom. I'm not going to work for anyone. There are no rigid enemies. It's just a job. You go, you sing for her, and you get paid. Please. If she calls you, you go there and entertain herself, her friends. She gives you money. You know how these rich kids are. Someday she'll get tired of hearing your voice and want to do something else. And she'll ask you to go. You will go with lots of money in your pocket. You think Paris Hilton doesn't have somebody who sings to her in a comfort zone? Because the newspapers have not written it. Of course she has. Look at this. A girl wanted to get married. And she insisted she wanted Joe to sing for her on her wedding. They had to pay Joe and fly him in to come and sing for her. You see, that's what musicians do. Public shows, private shows. Yours is even dignified. I mean, you get to sing to a beautiful girl in the comfort of her room, and then she gives you lots of money. That way, your dreams will also come true. You get to shoot your own music video. Darling, please. It's only a job. Darling, take the job. It's just a job, please. I'm begging you. Just 
heart like this Truly, truly The tears we see for relationships Them plenty, plenty So see, we I know we've been together Best of balls, that's all we did From the age of tender It's time to shine, I don't the blow What's in me? Ladies, don't they surround me? I know to get a time again. Sometimes I know they send them, but this I know she's a real good girl. She's afraid to lose me now. She called me right. Some changes in you nowadays. nowadays. My wish now for you to grow and not to lose you. Hearing her words, my conscience they prick me. Cause I know I'm guilty of those late accusings. Maybe you don't the meet higher people. CC who dress pass through through you know of course that my love for you is pure I'm so afraid to lose you now no to me that she called me bad so no do me bad thing no do me bad thing no hot my feet Listen up. So what do you like? I like. Well, I like champagne. Yeah, I always wanted to drink a lot of champagne, but I've never had enough money to spare, so I guess I can never get to drink champagne. Champagne. Did you say champagne? Yeah. Really? I'm addicted to having fun. Do you know what? You know what? I'm turning back. Let's go home and have some fun.
Where did the salt come from? I don't know, ma. Don't answer me like that. Have you gone crazy? Please, ma. Don't insult me, ma. Asking if I'm crazy. At least not this morning, after I haven't had any sleep because I was telling to my boyfriend whom your best friend got dead drunk. Really? You asked for it. After all, you sold him. What do you expect? Me? Sold my boyfriend? Give money, me. You do not be saying, I say my yash, give you. I don't say my yash, give you. What did you just say? No, no. I like it. Say it again. Give me money, you do small nobs, I see my eyes. Oh my god, where do you get the slants from? From my area. It's ghetto living there. We see lots of things. Everybody slangs. Really? I like it. You know what? I'm going to use it for my ex-boyfriend the next time he comes around to bother me about making up. Hmm. How old are you, Egede? 24, ma. Hmm, I'm 25. That means you're like, same age? No, you see no. Just with one year, so it's not much. So we can actually be friends. You know, the first time I met you, you were very timid. Maybe because you needed a job badly. But now I see your true spirit. You don't lick my feet or bow to me like those boys, Ben and James. You have just the right amount of your own mind that makes me like people. I hate ass lickers, that's even as servants. Thank you, ma. So, tell me, Desiree got your boyfriend's ass drunk yesterday. Yes, ma. He came home half dead. <laughs> Desiree, listen, you have to talk to your boyfriend. Tell him not to accept drinks from Desiree. Because as long as he's ready to drink, Desiree is going to drown him with drinks. Tell him to always remember that he is your boyfriend first, before anything else. After all, give me money, make I do small. Uh -uh. Give me money, make you do small. No, say I say my yash, give you. Okay. Give me money, make you do small. No, be say I sell my yash, give you. <laughs> You're very funny. Please hurry up with the dish. Hurry up with the lunch. My boyfriend is coming over. No, Samayash, Kia. No, Samayash. Kiss, 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 kiss. No, no, no. Lady life. What else? Hennessy. With a. Da, 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 da. Perfect. JD. Oh my god. Here. Josh, is that you? Yeah, baby, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm happy to see you. Good to 
to see you today. You're welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Honestly, I'm mighty glad to be here. Hmm. The house of my angel. <laughs> the pain of my heart. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh my god. So gorgeous. Really? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honey. Cheers. To us. Mm. Honey, know what? Every good thing in life happens in a moment. Let's check it out this way. In a moment, God created heaven and earth. In a moment, I met you at a fast food place. In a moment, we got talking. In a moment, we fell in love. In a moment, we keep talking on phone. In such a bluff, hearing each other's voice. <laughs> in a moment, I'm in the house of my future wife, eating this sumptuous <laughs> meal. And I know that, in a moment, I will marry you and wix you the way to happiness forever after. Josh, you are so amazing. Not just amazing, but prophetic too. <laughs> you know what? Because something kept nibbling at my mind when I was about to purchase my flight ticket down to this country, my motherland, approximately, um, six weeks ago. He kept telling me that I would meet someone so special on my arrival in Nigeria. And guess what? I did. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Thank you for being there. You make me feel so, so special. <laughs> um, Egede, Mom, if you're done with serving the wine and drink, you may leave. You know, I've not told my best friend about you. Her name is Desiree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I've not seen much of her lately. She's been occupied with this young man whose path just crossed with hers. Mm. Yeah, I think she's falling in love. Yes, with this unusual fellow. Well, what the heck? Love is love. And I think we're falling in love at the same time. <laughs> Thank you very much, girl. Mm. Thank you very much. Anyway, continue. Your words are so sweet. <laughs> you know, my ex-boyfriend was everything but romantic. For real? <laughs> Look at the way he just said it. My ex was everything but romantic. You condemn someone's lack of romantic attribute in a romantic manner. Come on, girl. <laughs> Please allow me to enjoy this meal. <laughs> Come on. It's your food. You know, when he started talking to me, I didn't even listen to him. You know, but now I just realized that he has one of the best characters I've ever seen. Hmm. What? Hmm. You don't like him? It's just funny how one can be very wise and intelligent and then be extremely stupid in very small places. She can't see, as we point it out to her. Okay. Speak in clear terms. Huh? You don't believe everything I told you, do you? Shouldn't I? No, you shouldn't, ma'am. No. You were born with a silver spoon. And that's why you cannot see the things that we who are ghetto kids can see. That guy is as fake as the word fake is fake. He doesn't live abroad. He knows you. And he knows your father is in jail. He's here for your money. 
Open your eyes, ma'am. Open your eyes. Shut your mouth. Where does he live? He stays in a hotel. He doesn't live in this country, so he does not have a house here. Lie. That's another lie. That guy lives in this country. He's here for a mission. For you and your money. If he doesn't live in this country. That expensive car he came with, how did he get it? I'm sure he borrowed it or he rented it. No! He bought the car upon his arrival in this country. Besides, why am I even talking to you? Didn't you hear when I said, shut your mouth? Do you know the last time I ever dated? Do you know the last time I really loved? And now that I'm trying to find happiness, you want to spoil it for me. Listen, I know I said we could be friends, but that does not include you saying hurtful things about my man. Capish? Sorry. You better be. People like you are wise in areas where you shouldn't be. And very foolish in areas where wisdom is required. Hello, Josh. Hello, baby. How are you doing? Did you just lie to me? About what? About everything. That you care about me. That you want to be with nobody else but me. Everything. All the sweet words you said to me. Did you lie? Come on, baby. Why would I lie about such a thing? Now, listen to me. I want to marry you as soon as possible. I mean, you are the only thing happening in my life right now. Alright, baby. I'll talk to you later. Bye, honey. Bye, honey. <sighs> Here. So. Do you cheat? What? Cheat. Have you cheated on your girlfriend before? No. I've not cheated. Liar. All guys cheat. Not all guys. And not when you love your girlfriend. Oh, wait, wait. What, what did he say? Love? <laughs> oh, God, this is funny. Listen, honey, all guys cheat. At least twice in every relationship. Especially if and when they find the right person to cheat with. For example, do you think I'm the kind of girl that you can cheat with? Let me rephrase. If we were alone in a room and I take all my clothes off, and you feel the heat coming through the walls of my body and soul. Will you turn your back on me and say, I've got a girlfriend? No comment. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Listen, Desiree, I know you're a beautiful girl and all that, okay? But the truth is, I'm gonna turn my back on you. And not because you're not attractive, but for the respect I have for my relationship. She won't find out. So where's the disrespect coming from? I will find out. And whenever I want to say I love you to her, the words will just stick in my throat. There you go, sounding like my grandfather's generation. What has sex got to do with respect? Look, honey. You have sex with those you have sex with. And you respect those you respect. Not so. Gotcha. You see how difficult it was to resist me. I told you. All guys cheat. <laughs> the first day you came home drunk. Today she wants to kiss you. 
All I know is she wants to kiss me. She wants to kiss you? And you don't have a choice to kiss or not to kiss? To drink or not to drink? Are you a child? The only reason I drank that champagne because I've never seen so much champagne at my disposal in my entire life. Loving champagne like I do, I saw it. I wanted to drink my fill. And I kept on drinking as you got more and more and I drank all the And you gave no thoughts to being drunk? You didn't realize that when you drink too much, you get drunk and stupid? What, what, what's wrong with you? You can't be yourself, go there, sing and get paid. You have always struck me as a man who knows what he wants and goes for what he wants. That is the man I fell in love with. Who are you? In two days, all your defenses have been broken down by the same woman of whom you said, we will not sell our labor to those who will rub our honor in the dust. You are the one rubbing your honor in the dust with your bare hands. Listen, in short, I'm not going back there ever again. Is that a solution, Ransom? I'm asking you. Is that? If you run away from this one, what happens in the future? Where perhaps you may work with beautiful and sassy women. What? You will drown in wantonness? Anyway, you're going back. Oh, this boy! What did you do that for? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Am I a toy? I thought you were supposed to call me whenever you want me to come here and sing and I come sing for you and get paid. What am I to you? Some kind of plaything you can seduce at any time you want? Or your experiment on the power of your seduction? Is that it? I guess you need me to tell you how effective it is. I'll tell you. I'll give you an answer. The answer is yes. Don't stir the animal in me. This man you see standing here needs you terribly, especially when you dance and sway. But you know what? I don't intend to. I will resist you. I don't know what you're talking about, dear. I'm just trying to dance away from the mood. You put me into a particular to that dirty place. That's all. Join me for a dance. Loosen up. I'm all alone in this house. My parents practically don't live here. They've traveled as usual, so don't be on time. Stop frowning. Stop acting like you wouldn't want to repeat if I let you. I'm not frowning. And this won't happen again. Why not? Is it like you're married to that girl you call your fiancé or whatever? Wait, what do you even want with a cook? Is that your life ambition? To be married to a cook? To be the husband of a cook? Hey, listen, I will not have you, okay? Have me do what? Say such things about the queen of your universe. Well, the queen of your universe has secrets, too. Secrets you wouldn't want to know. Ugly things she has done. Like what? Not yet, darling. Get dressed and leave. I need to be alone. I need to review what I've just done. If it's something I'd like to do again or 
something to be ashamed of. And you know what? I don't blame you. I just don't freaking blame you. I've come to collect my pay. I've sunk for two times now. And we agreed on 10,000 Naira per time. I want my money. Two times? Well, you've been here three times. I know I've been there three times, but I only sunk two times. Because the third time, you wouldn't allow me to sink. I didn't let you sink. Why? You know what happened. I don't want to be paid for that one. Just pay me for the times I've sunk. You're right. You should get paid. Let's see. Um, your money is now 30,000 Naira. The only problem is that I don't intend to pay you just yet. Keep coming till the end of the month. And then we'll calculate everything I owe you and I'll pay you. Meaning what? Do, do you think I'm some kind of puppet or your toy? Listen, I've worked for you and I don't intend to work for you again. You hear me? Just pay me my money, let me go and do something reasonable with my life. You can't keep me till the end of the month. I can, my dear, and I will. In the meantime, keep coming. You will keep working for me. You will do whatever I want you to do. Any day you come. Okay. So you think I'm desperate and poor, right? You know what? You can have the money. I can do without it. I just hope it solves all your life's problems. I'll leave this house and I promise never to put my foot back yet again. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You lie. You'll be back because you find me irresistible. So stop deceiving yourself. Actually, that man that will turn his back on my class, my charm and elegance hasn't been born. You will be back, dear. Nobody dumps me, Ransom. Nobody. I leave them. They don't leave me. You can see mine is finished. <laughs> give me more. You want me to give you more? Yeah. You stop me. At least I'm your house. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so baby, tell me. What are your plans? When are you going back? Or do you want to relocate back to the country now that you have me in your life? Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> Just tell me what you want. I've told you time without number. So tell me anything. I can do anything for you. Okay, I will relocate back here if that is what you want. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Josh, you're so sweet as always. You can say that again. But what else will a man be? But be sweet if he has a woman he loves like you. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I actually noticed that you came in another car today. How many cars have you bought since you returned from the store? Oh, three. Three cars. I drive one today, the other tomorrow, and so on and so on. <laughs> really? Yeah. I want to get a new car too. Mm. Yeah, so maybe you just introduce me to your dealer. Or better still, give me his number. Let me have his number. Oh, funny enough, I don't have his number here right now. But, never mind. Why stressing yourself calling him? Don't worry, I'll 
reach him and please do the arrangement for you. Uh, what do you think? Um, okay. So, what's his name? Um, mm, his uh, name, like his company name. Oh, Franklin Motors. Uh, either Frank or Franklin Motors. <laughs> Very good. Anything close to that, Frank or Franklin. Um, but don't worry. I will check the receipt of purchase today. I'll give you feedback. Why? Why do you ask? You seem to be very interested in cars today. Follow me. What? Follow me. Oh come on, girl. Sit down. Let's enjoy ourselves. Is anything the matter? Josh, follow me. Okay. Hello, girl. Just take it easy, but take it up all day. Just relax. Uh, relax. Open the car. Why? Open this car. <laughs> Honey, is there anything the matter? Open the freaking car. Okay. I will open the car if that is what you want. The door is open. Honey, what's the meaning for this? That's my particulars. Who is calling Stude? Oh, that's my Igbo name. I'm <laughs> sorry. What's wrong with me? Collins is my English name. Shut your mouth. Your name is Josh Okoro. And this car belongs to Collins Stude. He even bought it from a dealer called Planet Autos. Not Frank Motors, as you say. So what are you insinuating? What I am insinuating is that you borrowed this car <laughs> and for whatever reason you are not who you say you are. <laughs> so who are you? Why did you come to toy with my emotions? What do you want? Hey! Both of you come here. Yes, madam. Go padlock that gate. This idiot is not living here till he tells me what he wants. What's the meaning of all this? Yes, madam. What's the meaning of this? Mister. You better start talking. So what was this game all about? Huh? I think I have to leave now because I don't like what's going on. Mr. Talk, fast! I'm sorry. See, no girl in this country wants to hang out with a poor person. So I had to pretend. I'm sorry about that, please. So what did you want to achieve? Marry me? Date me? What? Wait, wait, wait a moment. Do you live in America? No. Did you just come back? No. Is your name Josh? Oh my god. My name is Cletus. How long were you expecting this to last? Talk! Before I involve the police. Sorry, don't involve the police. I will talk. Okay? Uh, see, there's a 419 style in this country boys use these days for white girls and for rich black girls in this country. It is called I go marry you. So, I tried my luck on you to see if I could get some money from you. After that, then I will find one excuse and dump you. I'm so sorry about that. How? Please. How? Talk. Maybe I will lie to you that my business has gone bad in America or that somebody duped us. Then I will ask you for money to start up something here. But then you would have loved me too much. So you open a business for me. Then I will find one reason that will make us quarrel. Then I'll be managing that one you've already opened for me. Sorry. I see. After that, I will look for another girl. Again, another rich girl. 
Sister, that is how boys survive in this country. Everything, things are hard. There is no work. Please forgive me. I beg you. Please. Please. There is no work. Bros, so, please. I'm sorry about that. So everything was fake? Everything was arranged? The way we met at the fast food place? Everything, the words you said to me? Do you know that you made me fall in love with the illusion you created? Is it fair? Is it fair? Please, forgive me. Is it fair? I'm sorry. See, but, but, even if I come to you as a normal person, you won't even look at me two times because I don't have money. So, you shouldn't blame me, the guys. You should blame the girls because they make us pretend to be who we are not. You are talking complete nonsense. Haven't you heard of rich girls that married poor boys? Bros, you, you know now. That one happened once in a blue moon. Please. Strip this guy naked. Eh? Throw him into this borrowed car and let him leave this cop out at once. Please. No, no. Wait, I don't wait. want him to live here with his clothes on. He must go only with his boxer shorts. That is if he has any please, on. Please. That is your punishment for punking with my heart. And you are very lucky. Very lucky. Get something else wait, to do. Wait, 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 Sister, please now, talk, talk to them now. Hey. Uh, 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 I, 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 please now. Hey. I will slap you. Oh, sorry, doctor, I, I'm, I'm raising my hand. Please, please now. Yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, please now, please, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please. Hey, please go. Madam. He's not even wearing boxer shorts. What is, uh, what he's wearing is uh, dress. What? Please just throw him into his car and let him get out of my compound. Come on! Sorry, sorry. Please, come on. Hey, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, help me. see you in my house today. You want me to die of boredom? Before I met you, I mean, how did you live? Did you die of boredom? Hmm? Get in the car this minute, let's go home. Home? <laughs> this is my home. I don't have a home in your house. So you go to your home. I've quit working for you. You dare not. Do you know why? Because I will tell your fiancé that we had sex. No, you won't. Blackmail? You dare not. Well, try me. Now, get in the car. Let's go. One. Ransom, get in the car. Two. So what? You think you can rub shoulders with me now? Because we'll have sex? Well, sex is nothing. And that's because I am something and you are nothing. I am somebody and you are nobody. I am the daughter of somebody and you are the son of a dead nobody. I am trying to make something out of you. And you want to wallow in nothingness. I will. Mom, the 
headache has lingered long enough. Since yesterday. Oh, my dear, what will I do now? Is it not all these useless boys moving around the city, giving people heartache and headache? Thank God for your perception. I would not have suspected anything at all. I owe you lots of gratitude. But how did you even suspect that he was fake? I used to work in my auntie's bar. Lots of poor boys come there, and they all sound alike. One once told me, I get a babe, I change your son him now. He meant to say he'd like to marry me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, what is wrong? You first. What's for the drugs? Good morning, ma'am. <sighs> Some boy gave me a headache since yesterday. Some boy? What have you been doing behind me, Donna? Well, I was going to tell you anyway. Uh, I just wanted to settle down in the relationship first. A boy I just met, but he's a bum. Don't not to worry, I already showed him the door. And you know me, I heal fast. By this evening, I would have forgotten what his face looks like. <sighs> I wish I could say the same for my own problems. Uh, what's wrong? <clears throat> Is this how she stands, listening to your conversations? Um, um, sorry ma'am. Is there anything else you might need? No, that will be all for now. Thank you. Excuse me. <coughs> Donna. Oh, Ransom has eaten deep into me. Hardly a day goes by that I don't think about him, but I don't want to be with him. And to make matters worse, he has refused to visit me or sing for me anymore. He said I can go to hell with my money. Look, this is what I want you to do for me, okay? I want you to fire his girl or girlfriend or whatever. You know, so before you know it, they'll be broke and in dire need for money. And then he'll come crawling back with his tail tucked between his legs, begging for his job. Maybe you should just let him go. Get another distraction. What? I've shagged him already. This is the best shag I've ever had in my whole life. God, that's me, my friend. <laughs> oh well, every shag is the best shag, so you have shagged the better shag. And I tell you what, my friend, the best shag is the shag you have not shagged yet. The shag's in the future. Why hold on to an imaginary future when I can hold on to the present? I need to hold on to ransom. Look, fire her. Do I have to beg you for this, Donna? She's a very good cook. Really? Well, find another cook. After all, the best food is that food you're yet to eat. The food and the future. This food. Is this purely desire? Or conquest? You want to conquer this guy. You want to subdue him so he can obey everything you say. Ransom, come and suck breast. He comes. Ransom, come and eat my pee. He comes. Ransom, come and lick ass. He comes. Is that what it is? Conquest, love, desire? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe all three or all of the other. I don't know. All I know is that I want to be with him. I need him. You know what? Go to the kitchen and talk to Wiggedy. Tell her about his refusal to come sing for you whenever you invite him. I'm sure she'll talk to him and convince him to come back and work for you. As for sacking her, that would be a last resort when every other thing has failed. for you to land. So, what's the bottom line of everything you have said, ma'am? If he doesn't come back by tomorrow morning, I will blame you for it. 
I will go to him and tell him that you took money from me in order to sell him to be my distraction. Let's see how much he will still love you when he finds out that um, I paid you to convince him to come sing for me. That's blackmail. Exactly my point, dear. Now I know you're very smart and you will do the right thing by talking to him into coming back. Else your secret will be out. And you don't want that, do you? Good girl. You'll never know the value of what you got till you get to lose it. Lose it. I never knew how real the statement is Still I gotta feel it to review what I've just done if it's something I'd like to do again or something to be ashamed of. Ransom, you look worried. It seems there's a heavy burden in your heart. What is it? No, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. But you, you, you too, you, you look very worried. I hope you're okay. Me? Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. 